So what are some of the things you can do with Camino Finance? Let me show you right now. So this is Camino Finance, Camino.finance. I've connected my wallet. I'm generating points. When you generate points, these points will actually change over to Camino tokens with each season. So season two has already done, and then season three is ongoing. If we have a look at Camino, we can actually go and if we've been using it before, we can go and claim any Camino tokens. We can claim and stake them. Now, this is not available in all countries. This is not legal advice, but VPNs could be used to access this if you needed to withdraw any funds you had in there. If you need any further information on that, you can check out Discord. Some countries that can't use it are UK and USA, and I'm unsure of others. So this is now being auto staked in here. So my stake here is very, very minimal. This is a tutorial wallet. Personally, I've got a lot more than this and I'm just accumulating it and I'm staking it. So you get, this gives you a boost. More on that in another video. Now we've got four different products here. But first, let's have a look at my portfolio because I'm already actually using this slightly. You can see I am borrowing with Sol. I'm borrowing some USDC in the borrow lend and I'm longing. I've been longing this. Let's have a look. When I started longing, I've been longing Sol from, let's have a look. So August, August 3rd for about a month, I've been longing Sol and my profit and loss, it is not doing well. I haven't been liquidated or anything like that. As far as I'm aware, my LTV is fine. My leverage is here, but this is a leverage up. So once Sol picks on up to like 160, 170, then this will be back in profit and loss. So we've got long and short as an option. This is done differently to if you're using an exchange because you actually end up paying less of a borrow rate. And it's more if you want to go like one and a half to three times leverage. It's quite low. You can quickly go to short to Sol Bear, but it's more for, in my opinion, being bullish longer term. It's very simple. What you do is you take your soul and you deposit some soul and then you borrow USDC and then you swap that to soul and then that's how it goes. Of course, leverage is something you need to be mindful of. Multiply is another thing I've covered before, but basically you can go in with different assets such as JLP, which is Jupiter's liquidity provider token, and you can deposit it into this. You can then borrow USDC to buy the JLP token, and you start to accumulate more and more rewards. In terms of leverage settings, nothing is financial advice, but I like to stay like under, like around two and a half is kind of my max. It's just a little bit safer. In general, I think JLP will outperform a lot of tokens and it will go up and up and up. Just September is not going to be an upper month but I would still, I'm still using it for that. If you want to do LP liquidity farming, you can do it with, with Camino here as well. And they offer a lot of good vaults that give you extra rewards. You can keep an eye on a couple of things. One is Orca, Radium, and Meteor. These are the three main DEXs. Anything with Meteor is my preference as it gets Meteor points, which will be transferable in the future to some sort of token. However, ultimately, you want to get a good yield. When you see this lightning bolt, you can see that this is getting incentives. So this one is MSOL and SOL. It's getting marinade incentives from the marinade team or DAO. This one here, PYUSDC, this is getting incentives of 15.64%. So if we had just stable coins in here, and then we can do what we want with them. We can buy some soul with our $15 worth of PYUSD or whatever, or we can put it back into the pool if we want to actually grow that. But one thing when it comes to anything with liquidity and farming, be very, very aware of what divergence losses. Basically, if one price of an asset goes down, the other one goes up, then you can be left with a lot less than what you started with. The perfect thing about this is if we go and take a, a token such as Cloud, we can go have a look at the performance and see how it's doing. Okay, so Cloud and INF, this has now been boosted. They stopped boosting this. I withdrew my liquidity and now they've gone add more Cloud. So I should go back in. When the fees are quite low, it's probably not a good idea because impermanent loss is not going to be worth it. My position, if we have a look at my position, there's nothing here, but this is where we would claim our incentives and then we can do what we want with them. Cloud is going on a bit of a run right now. If we have a look in the last 90 days, if we just held the two tokens, the Camino strategy would have outperformed. It would have been at a loss, but it would have outperformed. If we just held Cloud, we would have outperformed. Now that's just due to a very recent pump here. Otherwise, it wasn't actually very, very strong. But Cloud just pumped up. But you can see all these analytics yourself and you can go over 30 days or seven days. So you can see, are you actually outperforming the market? You can see with this as an example, if you just held Cloud, you'd be up 71% compared to 15%. So you don't put in everything into liquidity, but that it is something if tokens tend to go up or down at the same level. And if you want both of them, it could be something that you're very, very keen on. So that's why I mentioned something like Jito Soul 
and soul. It's earning very, very little, but you are getting those points. And normally you get daily GTO rewards, but it looks like that ended as well. The other thing, and probably the thing I use the most is borrow and lend. You see, I've got soul here and I'm borrowing some USDC. One thing that you can do is if you've got like some soul or some Jiro soul, you can come in here and remember Jiro soul is soul that earns yield. Same with Jupe soul. So you can go and stake with validate.com and then you can go to another website, which is just jiro.network. And if you need a DeFi with it, you just connect your wallet, sell flare, connect, and then you click stake now. And you can see this one in this tutorial is dupe soul, but in my main wallets, I've got a lot of like validator.com soul, and you can actually convert this to the Jito soul LST. And then from there, you can use it in DeFi if you want. So as an example, you put into here, you supply it, you earn a very small amount, but then you can go and borrow against it. Right now, we want to deposit some soul at $130. We come, we go and deposit this. We know that Sol's $131 and we decide we want to borrow a little bit of USDC or if we can, PYUSD because it's even cheaper. So we'll see if we can borrow a little bit. Maybe we want to buy something like $50 because we think maybe Sol's going to go up. At the same time, let's see if this transaction goes through. Let's try one more time. Okay, it doesn't look like that's going to go through for whatever reason. We'll just borrow some USDC. We may think that Sol is going to go up in value and we want to go and buy some with our USDC. That's just one thing. Or we might want to just take the USDC, cash it out, and go and spend some things on the, in real life, right? So we can improve this, and then from here we can go to Jupiter or into our Soulflare wallet, and I can go and take some USD coin, like $50 worth, go and swap it into Sol, and then confirm. And now I've got more Sol exposure. I could do that into Jito Sol, then it accumulates value. I could come and I could put, you know, that 0.37, whatever it is, back into here, deposit it and have more in here that's earning a little bit of yield by being supplied out as well. And then if Sol goes up, we could just go and withdraw some of that. We could sell it for USDC and then we can go and pay down our actual position right here by clicking on this and then clicking repay from wallet and we'd just go and decrease it just like that. That's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do it's quite often you can go and borrow PYUSD here. You can borrow in the main market and then you can come into the Athena market and you can supply it and it's not earning a crazy boost right now, but you're basically earning an extra 2%. Rates have come down quite significantly. Each market is done very differently. Alternatively, you could borrow this, you could swap it for USDC and then you can go and supply it here or you can supply it in the JLP market because it gets more. So that are just some of the things, some of the products that are available with Camino right now. And the great advantage of this is the fact that you have four major things in one dApp. So same team, if you have need support, same tickets, same smart contract auditors, everything like that. And everything is just here so you can work it out. And that's one of the many reasons why I love Camino. There's also the altcoin market for WIF and Bonk. So if you're bullish on WIF or Bonk, you may want to accumulate some. You can go and deposit it into here. You're not going to earn anything from it. But if you've got a massive bonk bag and you're speculating that this is going to do well, you can borrow 40% maximum. That's when you get liquidated. So maybe like 20% of USDC. So if you have $1,000 worth of bonk, you can put in here and you can go and borrow here. However, it's a high borrow rate. So just keep that in mind, but it still may be very well worth it. Or you can go and supply USDC into this here at like 8%. And then quite often you will earn points with everything that you're doing. Not everything tends to get points though. We'll need to double check which things get points with the team. That's all. Go use Camino. Check it out. Nothing's financial advice, but I personally love it. It's my favorite kind of DeFi farming app out there by far.